Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're going to a further part of chapter two. Now we're gonna deal with three D problems, okay? We're going to do problem 2.60. Now it says, the force F has a magnitude of 80 pounds and acts within the octant shown. So this green octant. Determine the magnitudes of the X, Y, and C components of F. F is this 80 pound force, this red one. And we need to find its X, Y, and C components that are displayed as these blue forces, okay? So if we check the picture that they're giving us, they're giving us an angle with respect to the Y axis, so the y, uh, from the Y axis to the force, and also from the X axis to the force. And so with this angle, we can find the magnitude of the force in the y direction and also the force in the x direction. Now, with, to the force to the z direction, they haven't given us any angle. So what we're gonna do is that, knowing that the resultant is going to be the Pythagorean theorem of these three forces, so we can solve for x. Now, because we already know that uh, the hypotenuse is in total is gonna be 80 pounds. So, let's start, for example, with f of y. So, how do we find f of y? So, with this angle, what it actually means is that if I draw a line to the tip, from the tip of the force all the way to the tip of the force in the y direction, I'm going to have this right triangle. What, but what do I mean by right triangle? This doesn't look like a 90 degrees, isn't it? Well, since it's a 3D, it's it, the displacement the display is not like actually how it looks like so if we were to redraw this triangle it will look something like this so we'll have our right triangle over here our 45 degrees in here we will have our hypotenuse we wish we know it's 80 pounds and f of y which is the adjacent to the to that angle so knowing this, we can apply our basic, basic trigonometry and trigonometry, and we can solve for f of y. So f of y is basically going to be the hypotenuse multiplied by the cosine of the angle. I'm using cosine because it's the adjacent. Okay, so if we use our calculator, we can do, we go and do 80 cosine of 45, and we get that it's actually 56.6. So we get 56.6 pounds, okay? So same for the f of x. So we're gonna have a right triangle with a hypotenuse of 80 pounds, an angle of 60 degrees, and f of x is going to be, it's adjacent. So f of x is going to be equal to 80 cosine of 60 degrees and cosine 80 cosine of 60 I'm pretty sure is 40 pounds so 40 pounds okay so we figure out the y and the x component now all we need to do is find the z component so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem and then we're gonna solve for f of z so what do I mean by that we know that the resultant, which is F, has to be equal to, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, F of X is square, the square root of F of X is square plus F of Y is square plus F of Z is square. If we were to solve for F of Z, basically F of Z is going to be equal to the square root of f squared, the hypotenuse, minus f of x squared, minus f of y squared, okay? So if we follow this, I'm gonna do it on this side, we get that f of z is going to be equal to the square root of a squared minus f of x squared which is 40 squared 
minus 56.6 x squared. Thank God we have our calculator, so we can use this. So we can do this in one step. So we got 80 squared minus 40 squared minus 56.66 squared. And this will give us uh, 40 pounds for the F of Z. Okay, so that was it for the video. We got our three answers, which is this one for F of Y. This one, this 40 pounds for f of x, and this other 40 pounds for f of z. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any question or any suggestion, please comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.